Welcome to your Around the Peninsula. I'm Army Sergeant Alan Brutus. Airmen of the 374th cross the East Sea to get soldiers ready for battle. Army Sergeant Moses Ward shows you how prepared they are. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm good. The 302nd Brigade Support Battalion soldiers mark the landing zone for their wingmen in the 374th Operation Support Squadron. We had a um, resupply, uh, airdrop mission with the Air Force. See up there where that windsock is? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful observation point. The training mirrors a vital real-world mission. It gives us another capability to resupply, get resupplied to uh, other units or to ourselves um, during the time of war. Two, two minutes out. I was the radio guy, so I was relaying information from the DZ to the aircraft. So eight point, you are clear to drop. I said you are clear to drop. There he is right on the uh, ridge line. I love training with the Air Force. Um, the guys are very knowledgeable. I definitely learned a lot from them guys. So. Sergeant Hayes received a certification as well. Today I got recertified to be in control of uh, the drop zone. When it was safe, the soldiers recovered the supplies from the DZ. Uh, this type of training is essential in case we have to take the fight up north. Uh, today is also the first time that we conducted low cost, low altitude, altitude drops on the peninsula. Uh, I'm very proud of the soldiers and airmen that took part in this operation and um, really happy to be here. Army Sergeant Moses Ward, Guangzhou Drop Zone, Korea. The units linked up at Osan Air Base to complete their mission before returning to their home stations that night. Service members across USAG Yongsan received a special gift this holiday season. Specialist John Barry goes door to door to see what they're opening up for. On the ground, right? More than 50 volunteers from across the Yongsan community meet up to spread holiday cheer across the garrison. Joining the USO for Operation Give, volunteers unloaded boxes filled with stockings to pass out to service members in Korea. My favorite part of this event is definitely seeing the community come together. We have soldiers here from BOSS, from SAMC, women from the American Forces Spouses Club, Sakura, really all those people coming together as part of a community to help each other out. Merry Christmas. I'm glad I got to come because I'm married away from my family. But it's nice to actually see that people are out here caring about the soldiers and everything. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. And some of the reactions they get give the volunteers a good reason to keep giving. This is actually my first Christmas away from home. So it's amazing like that when the soldiers came to the door or the airmen came to the door, they're just shocked, like super excited and really glad that this was going on. The volunteers and grateful recipients of the USO's Operation Give bring the spirit of the holiday season to life. Specialist John Barry, Yongsan, Korea. Awesome, look at that. The volunteers handed out over 3,000 stockings across the Yongsan garrison. A 5K fun run is something that's common on most Air Force bases. Staff Sergeant Christopher Kingan takes us to Kunsan Air Base where one airman gave one run a unique spin. A 3.2 mile run is common in the military. But senior airman Roberto Rodriguez, an 8th Fighter Wing fitness specialist, decided to make this run a little bit different. Today basically we have uh, a card drive um, in conjunction with the holiday 5k that we already had uh, working with the fitness center and it's um, basically for the, the families that have lost a loved one uh, in the Sandy Hooks tragedy. And he had a specific reason for doing this. Basically I came with the idea after the story broke on CNN and um, I know myself I lost a loved one earlier this year and it was the, the car sent in by the strangers that, that knew the loved one and not necessarily me. Um, they, it, was, it was basically like just a, a nice token to, to help my family cope with, with the loss and everything like that. Let us know that we weren't alone. Because of his efforts, the fitness center is sending out around 100 sympathy cards. Air Force Staff Sergeant Christopher King in Kunsan Air Base, Korea. Kunsan Air Base had stations set up all over base for airmen to fill out cards for the victims of Newtown, Connecticut. While most people would rather relax after a long day at work, one man spends his free time helping others. Senior Airman Nancy Kasberg meets this man and he shares his story. You're here to work out, right? I'm Senior Master Sergeant Jason Terrio. I'm the Superintendent for Fire and Emergency Services at 7th Air Force. And I'm also and one of the lead crossword instructors here at OSOM. So anytime the bar leaves the floor. I think the best part of being an instructor is just watching people get better at, at the things that they're scared of and just see them succeed. But when I see somebody uh, like 
like Sartario or Aaron Ballesteros, both of them have great form and great technique and they know a lot about lifting weights and working out. So being able to visually see someone do something correctly, it helps me out because I'm, a, I'm a more of a visual learner than a textbook learner. We come in here every day and we encourage each other. Uh, we enjoy seeing each other. We enjoy being around each other. And uh, we find ways to just improve our fitness on a regular basis. We love Kehoe. Um, after a month, uh, we really got to kind of know him a little bit better. He's very personable, um, gets people go. motivated. I know he got me motivated to want to come back at least two, three times yeah, a week. He may look intimidating, but, uh, but he's, he's a big softie. He's a, he's a great person to, to ask for advice, technique, uh, anything that you can do to, to make yourself better. As a CrossFitter, you can go right to him and ask him anything you need to. You just get really excited, more and more excited sometimes for them. When they, when they come up to you and tell you their success and just being able to, to think back and know that I had a small part in that is, is what you know, makes me happy and keeps me, keeps me going. Five airmen from Osan CrossFit will participate in the Asia CrossFit competitions in Seoul. Symphony orchestras consist of a range of musical instruments such as violins and cellos, but Army Sergeant Keith Berghart shows how some music isn't played by hand. The Republic of Korea National Military Symphony Orchestra performed the Korean American Friendship Concert at USAG Yongsan with bows gliding across strings and notes filling the Seoul American High School Auditorium, the concert highlighted artists using their voices. Connecting to the audience through song. Even though America and Korea have different people and culture, I couldn't feel that tonight. I was impressed to see the crowd was actually moved by the music. And the vocalists believe they broke language barriers through music. America is very famous for music, and I had to perform in English in front of American audiences, so I was a little bit nervous at first. But when I started singing, I could feel the communication between me and the crowd by the music. Army Sergeant Keith Burkhart, Young Son Korea. Jung Mi Han and Linda Park were the only two vocalists to perform at the Korean American Friendship Concert. Everyone celebrates the holidays differently. Army Sergeant Than Pham shows us how some Camp Casey residents get into the holiday spirit this year. More than 500 2nd Infantry Division soldiers and families are enjoying the Cirque Dreams Holiday Show at the Camp Casey Carey Fitness Center. One family member is happy to get a chance to watch the juggling and stunt flying to the sound of Christmas tunes with her two children. The show was amazing. I really enjoyed all the performances. I, I can't believe that we got to see something so wonderful here in Korea. This performer has plenty of holiday spirit and cheer to energize the audience. It feels amazing, really, to be able to give back to them after all they do for us. I think that they can walk away and have a smile on their face and be singing some tunes. It makes me feel really in the holiday spirit. I'm glad that we had the opportunity because being away from family, it's been hard to experience a lot of fun stuff, and this was a great way to do that. Army Sergeant Tan Pham, Camp Casey, Korea. The Cirque Dreams Holidays Tour spreads holiday cheer to nearly 5,000 soldiers and their families in Korea. That was your Around the Peninsula for Thursday, January 3rd. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening. <laughs>